presented the time to work. With my young, fresh out of school self, and having done short hands and typing at school, which in those days you either became a secretary or a nurse, I learned to myself a super job as a personal secretary in a great organisation up in my Park, the world of work that started. Where's your mom? The receptionist asked me when I turned up to work one morning. Excuse me? I replied. Your hair, she said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You have to, you have to be a attendant because I used to say, be aware, just be aware that people will treat you that way, but don't let it stop you from doing what you have to do. You will not be to watch it. Don't say, oh, they stopped me doing this because of the problems. I said, no, I'm that you never. I'm so happy to see that you are here. Okay, so uh, I'm a Windrush child because my mom um, left me when I was only four or five and came to England and Windrush lived. And obviously, as you know, they leave you with aunties, uh, somebody next to the world, you know, up the road, or, you know, what I was left with my grandfather, what I was left with my grandfather. And um, so that's why I wrote this poem. Did you know that I wrote this poem? What, 20 years ago what is going on? It has affected me so much. And um, when you listen to the words, then you realize how life was for me back then. And I call it the winter's child, not child. I don't know why I said child, but I call it the winter's child. I'm going to read the poem now. I'm a winter's child. My mother put the boy in down to a place that said his grand on a ship that we call the Windrush. I miss it so much. I can see the pain of the pain Ah, nothing but dark pieces from the really cold. Mother left me when I was only three. Please don't go. I need to go with you. Stay with me. To be quiet in the hospital there. Mom, will you remember me? This I pray. She left me with my beloved grandmother. She looked up to me with love for the honor. Fed me, loved me over the years. <clears throat> Scold me sometimes. I mean, you dry my tears. I never understand too much. I just bring your tea. Hope I see you again. Hi, what's your name? My name is Talent Mandika, Auto Talent Mandika. Mandika, I see. Okay. So, um, how do you, how was um, explaining your story and everything? Well, it's been a fantastic day, mm. and I'm so grateful to be here um, because I know Tony. We've been together for a, for a while, um, and I think the human library is the best that can happen to human beings mm. because this is a fantastic ideology. Yes, Honestly. Getting people to tell their story so they can pass it on. Young generation can learn. This is what we are driving. Okay. Yeah. So, um, what else? What else do you feel like you didn't express in your story today? Uh, well, like you the time you frame was shut, but I got as much as I can to mm. really make an impact in those whom I was able to see. Mm, that's yes. Great. That's great. That's great. Yes. So. Um, also, what well, I could have done with more time, yeah. but the time frame is very short. So yeah. we have to get as many people as possible in, yeah? Understandable, yes. yeah. That's yes. Great. Um, explain your story today. How do I find explaining it? Yeah, and then... Yeah, well, it's uh, something I've been doing for quite a while, so it was... As usual, it was okay. It was fine. Yeah. So, what, what else do you feel like about your story that you wish you would have told in this time? Oh, that's a good question. I think that, um, 
I mean, basically, the thing is, is that um, I think that people have to understand that we're all in the same boat. Mm. Uh, for one thing, and it's, uh, it's a divide and rule strategy has been working the whole time. And it's actually, actually seems to be getting worse as well. Um, we, as a as a community, as a race, we have to stick together more. And also, I feel that we have to out each other. Yeah, I found it quite uplifting, especially when our people have left their cards with me um, and invite me to sort of like use social media for some of my poems and stuff. So I found it quite um, uplifting today. I was, when I set out to come, I didn't really, I wasn't really feeling it, especially with the weather and everything, but yeah, I found it very moving, mm. right? Um, and um, yeah, uplifting, very good, you know, excellent. So, uh, so thank you very much. Like, uh, what, what else do you feel like you wish you would have said in, about your story in your time? In I wish day? I had more time. <laughs> <laughs> because I had to keep fast forwarding, sort of like, uh, my story probably would take a good half an hour, 45 minutes to mm. get everything in, or to get most of the things in, yeah. which I am oh, which which I am doing, I'm writing the story, mm. um, and including everything that I can remember, yeah. um, sort of like as a, as a child.